Hey, welcome again, everyone. Michael Cafiero here at uh, Clean Edison Manhattan headquarters. Talk to you a little bit about NABCEP, North American Board of Certified Energy Practitioners, NABCEP.org. Tremendous amount of information on there. At the end of this brief slideshow, I'll go on the website and just show you a couple of uh, tabs that you should be looking for. Okay. NABCEP is a voluntary certification but it is very well recognized and respected across the country and Canada as well. Some states require a NABCEP PV installation professional certification to be on the list of approved installers whereby you can get the rebate and sometimes significant rebates for customers, tens of thousands of dollars. So in many states you really, really want to get the certification. And the states that don't specifically require an ADCEP certification, they either recommend, suggest, or strongly suggest an ADCEP certification for all their installers. There's three certifications that I talk about mostly. There's a small wind certification that's kind of on hold in limbo. There's a solar heating professional certification, which is for hot water systems, uh, solar swimming pools, solar hot air, plumbing devices. And then there are three levels of solar electric and NABCEP certifications. And uh, the Clean Edison, we're helping you uh, to, get, to get these certifications. Because there's a lot of work that's going on right now. There's solar is uh, one of the biggest, if not the largest, growing business in the country. And uh, people support it. And we are train, helping uh, train you on that. I'm going to go th th throw you some slides and I'll talk specifically about NABCEP. Here's where the business is going, and I don't know if you can see these shades, the dark residential, middle dark blue is commercial, and then there's utility scale. So all sectors are growing. I, I think there's just so much uh, business to be had, it's, it's, uh, um, it can be overwhelming. You need to find your niche. What, what, are you gonna, uh, what part of the solar business do you want to get? Um, I personally started install my business in 2001 as an installer before I was training. And when I was installing systems in 2002, the cost of the equipment is, was about five times what it is now. I was installing a 10 kilowatt system for $90,000 and I've seen quotes for $25,000. I don't think that works out one to five, but it's so much cheaper. So the cost is dropping. And as utility rates go up, it makes your system a lot worth it. There's not enough labor. I've, I've been training uh, individuals and companies uh, around the country the last few years, and I've been told that uh, some of these companies, the only reason they're not doing more work is they just don't have the people. They just need to hire more installers and, and get them training and get going. It's actually just, uh, there's employers waiting for you if that's what you're looking for. And NAPSEP's certainly going to help you on the resident. It's not just solar, there's still this lot of energy audits, efficiency, conservation first, you know, it's not what you make, it's what you save. Uh, tighten the envelope, save electricity at the, at the house or the business, and then whatever's left over, solar is the best way to generate that electricity you need. We're looking to get a million employees, you want to get in. We are not here, we're here. You want to get in early. Um, this could be, this could be uh, your career moving forward. So that's not going anywhere. Just to jump in as an installer, not a bad idea. Even if you're going to sell or finance or any other, anything else, it's not a bad idea to get a couple installations under your belt. And installers are averaging uh, about $38,000 a year. I, when I read this study, I noticed that it was, uh, it was like Arizona, Nevada, and California were on the lower end of this number. And then like Boston and, and, and um, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, it was on the higher end of this average. So I want to thank you and I'm going to go to NAPSEP and, and, and explain the different certifications real quick. NAPSEP.org can be a pretty darn overwhelming site. There's a lot of stuff on this site. There's, everything on the site is worth reading and worth checking out. But let me just show you how to find three different certifications. So NAPSEP used to only have the installation professional certification. And I got mine back in 2005, and that's all there was. Uh, but the problem with that was you need to have some installs under your belt. I believe it's five right now that you had a position of responsibility on. So 
there was this problem where you couldn't get NAVSEP certified until you got installed, but a lot of states requiring you to have the certification to do your installs with rebate was what created the problem. So NAPSEP started out with, uh, so that they started an entry level certification. So it's a great way to get started. Like for example, in New York, uh, to get part of the, to be part of the rebate program in New York for NYSERDA, they say, we realize it's going to take a little while to get your full NAPSEP installer certification. So get your entry level certification, and then you've got like two years or so to get your PV installer certification. So to look into the entry level, just come on over to the entry level tab, and they have, um, right on there they got learning objectives. And you click on the learning objectives and it shows you what you need to know. You could take, uh, I believe, anywhere from, from 20 hours to a whatever 80 hour class. It only counts towards 20 hours of ultimately the 60 you need for the other certifications after you pass the entry level exam. Okay. So look at the learning objectives. Uh, Take our entry level class, and and you get get in. You can get that going real quick. And then as you work towards your other certifications, the next layer of certification they have is called PV Technical Sales Certification. So entry level is for entry level. Get certified is for the other certifications. So if you click on Get Certified, and then over here there's Technical Sales. And let me just show you that. All right. And the Technical Sales and the Installation Professional have JTA. They call it job task analysis. And these are the things you need to understand. And the app points out to you what's critical, what's important, what's useful. If you click on uh, the certification handbook, you can read about all the certifications. And the job task analysis tells you what you need to know for a PV technical sales certification. The technical sales certification and the installation professional certification, those tests are only given twice a year, once every six months. And you can't take them both at the same time. So you may want to get, get going and try to apply for the next cycle, which is a test in October that you have to apply for by August. So that could be a good goal. Get your entry-level certification and then work towards more of these certifications. The technical sales certification is going to be easier to obtain. The test is going to be easier than uh, the installation professional certification. You want to read about that? You know, employers looking for people to sell solar, this is a great certification to have. It shows that you understand what you're selling, what solar does, also importantly, what solar does not do. Financial stuff, return on investment, and very importantly too, to, to anything you do in solar electric field, is shade, like under, being able to do a, sh a proper shade assessment at a site if you're out there, because shade is very critical. And we have another series uh, video on, on how uh, shade really, a little bit of shade is very detrimental to the production of your solar system. Check out the NAPSEP Installation Professional Certification, and if you go to the Job Task Analysis, it'll point out to you everything you need to understand to get this certification. Nationally recognized, some comp I know from training some companies are giving raises if you get it. Companies are only hiring NAPSEP certified people. A lot of distributors want a NAPSEP certified person in the company. That shows that you, you kind of know what you're doing. So. Please take the time, check out navsep.org's website or our cleanedison.com website. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.